Hello everybody, this is Tyrod one here. Um, and today, in this video, where today we're gonna do is a topic of some of something I I wrote on a paste paper today. Um, and this in this video, we are gonna do, talk about a Marvel vs. DC game that Nether Realms Studios has been wanting to do, or in the in, or rumored to, to wanting to try to do. Now. Um, I know that Ed Boon wants to do something like this, and I think this would be an awesome game. Um, and this is obviously a dream come true for Marvel and DC fans, especially a person like me. Um, so, I wrote down a roster of Marvel heroes, DC heroes, villains, and I even wrote characters I'd like to see in DLC packs that have, that have I chosen this is this is the roster that I wrote down on my personal choice and if and personal choice um, so uh, I'm gonna read off some of these to you off all these to you and uh, tell me what you all think okay I'm gonna start off with the Marvel heroes first and uh, what I would like to see in the Marvel heroes and stuff and I'm gonna go from there okay the first one is gonna be Captain America. Obviously, you gotta end up having Captain America in there. Uh, the second one is gonna be Iron Man. Uh, third one is gonna be Thor. Fourth one is gonna be Hulk. And for the fifth one, Hawkeye. For the sixth one, Black Widow. Seven, Falcon. Uh, eighth character, uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, for the ninth character, Black Panther, we gotta have Black Panther in there. Um, for all the Black Panther fans out there, Black Panther should be on this list. Uh, for the tenth character, Spider Man, obviously, fan favorite character. Um, for the eleventh character, War Machine. Twelfth uh, character, Vision. Thirteenth character, Scarlet. Uh, 14th character, Ant-Man, and for the 15th character, Wasp. Now, you can either do these as a skin character or have them separate. I would like, personally, like to have those two separate, because both of them can have two, two set up different abilities and tactics. Even though they can both shrink, they both have different abilities and tactics that they can use. That could be unique and something different that they both do. Um... For the 16th character, Captain Marvel. Uh, 17, Doctor Strange. Uh, for the 18th character, Deadpool. Obviously, gotta have Deadpool in there. Um, for the 19th character, Wolverine. I, I like 19th character. This is an X Men character I want to throw in here. At least just one. Um, that is gonna be Wolverine. Now, I'm a huge Wolverine fan. I like Wolverine. So I figured that would. Be a character to throw in there. Um, for my next two characters on this Marvel Hero list, uh, I added a couple of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. Um, Star-Lord and Gamora. I figured adding both of those in there. Uh, for the 22nd character, uh, Daredevil. 20, 23rd. I'd fi I figured to add She-Hulk since She-Hulk's gonna start becoming popular right now with her series with her sh with her uh, Marvel series coming in. I figured add her I figured add her character on this game because her series is gonna start coming out and she's gonna start getting popular here pretty soon. So I figured she'd go in here. Um, I decided to add Quicksilver to this list so we can have a fast. Have a fast runner, have a fast character on here. And then I added Deadpool sidekick character Domino. I figured she'd be on here alongside here. And then for the 26th hero, I added Nova. And then for the 27th character, I decided to add Spider Woman as 27th character. And that is this, and that right there is the heroes list of 27 heroes I'd left off. Now I'm going to jump on to. The DC side of the 27 heroes on there, and this is my this is my and don't get me wrong this this is my choice of roster that I made. I even have a DLC DLC list on the I've even made two. So, um, 
for DC, Superman. For the second one, Batman. For the third one, Wonder Woman. For the fourth one, Flash. Uh, fifth character, Cyborg. For the sixth character, Green Lantern. Seventh one, Aquaman. Seventh one, Shazam. The ninth, Green Lantern. Ten, Black Canary. Eleven, Martian Manhunter. Twelve, Hawkman, a hot girl. I added both of those, so that's 12, 13 characters. I added both Hawkman and Hawk Girl for the DC side. And the reason why is because both of them have unique, both have, have different abilities. Even though there's a Hawkman and a Hawk Girl, and they both pretty much are from the same region, they both have, I figured they both have unique different abilities. So you could probably put them both in there, or you could just do a skin. I would personally do a separate one with the both of them so that you can. That way you have a man, woman on there too, so you can play with both of them. Because that's what I would want to do. Um, for the fourteenth character on the DC side, Supergirl. Um, for the fifteenth one, uh, the Autumn. If you're gonna have Ant Man, you might as well have the Autumn. Autumn can shrink to the size of an Autumn, a little bit smaller than the Ant, but you might as well have him to go up against Ant Man and Wasp. Um, um, for the 16th character, uh, Dr. F Dr. St Dr. Fate, I figured since you're going to have Dr. Strange, we might as well have Dr. Fate. Um, and another character I really want them to throw in here, along with Dr. Strange and Dr. Fate, they have to put this character in here. If they do not put this character in here, I'm going to be a little upset. Not really upset, just a little disappointed. And that is going to be John Constantine. He has to be on this list. Um, 18th character is going to be Power Girl. I figured she'd be in here too. Um, 19th character to go... Um, so we have Martian Manhunter. That's got a similar division. Another character that is, I think is kind of similar to Vision also is uh, Red Tornado. I figured him and Vision would go at it and stuff. I like it'd be kind of interesting to see Vision and Red Tornado go at it since they're both Android like superhero characters. So I figured it'd be kind of neat. Um, the twentieth character, Star Girl, since she has her own series. I haven't really watched much of her series, but since she has her series, I figured she's a little popular, so I figured she'd be on this list too. Just to have her on here. So. Um, and this is my favorite run, run right here. Um, I even threw in some of the Bat family characters in this game. That's how that's how like creative I'm trying to think with this. This this is how cool it would be to me. Um, Nightwing, Red Hood, Red Robin, um, and for my Robin choice, I'd like to see Damian Wayne, which is son, Batman's son, as the Robin in this. So there's your four, four your four your main Robins. Um, Batgirl would be a nice one. And then last but not least, uh, Batwoman. I figured both of them should be on there too. That way you have them included. And then the last but not least uh, DC hero character, the 27th one, is going to be Plastic Man. I figured he would go on there. Um... So, uh, I think he'd be a unique character to have on there as well. So, Plastic Man is going to be the last one. Now, <clears throat> this is now I'm moving on to the Marvel villains. Um, Marvel villains, we got Venom, Carnage, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Electro, Shocker, Vulture, Red Skull, Mandarin, Whiplash, Ghost, Taskmaster, uh, Loki. Ultron, Doctor Doom, Magneto, Thanos, and Abomination. I figured those eighteen. I figured those eighteen Marvel villains would be kind of cool that you, you need to have. So I figured I'd do those. Um, and then for the DC villains, um, so we got Joker, Riddler. 
Now, if now I, the reason why I chose Riddler is because I fit, I I know he's not much of a fighting character, but I think you can make his move set unique because he is because he is a, so he is a he he does have very good strategies and he is very intelligent. So I figured you can do something with those, something something that's very something something creative with that. So that's why I kind of threw Riddler in there. Now Scarecrow. Obviously, yeah, Ted, I I would assume have him in there, and the other reason why is because Scarecrow is kind of like Freddy Krueger with Marvel, with the DC universe. I mean, no, he does it against Hydra Dream, but he can create illusions and all that type of stuff and toxins to make you see things you shouldn't don't really want to see, and give you the nightmares you wouldn't forget. In a way, <clears throat> um, obviously Harley Quinn for the fourth uh, villain. Um, Two-Face, I decided to add him in there. I think Two-Face will be a good villain to add in here. Um, especially with some of the stuff he can do. Especially he can do a... You could probably do an ultimate move with, like, his coin flip thing or whatever he does. And that'd be, that'd be kind of something that's unique. Um, for the sixth villain, um, Bane, obviously. Uh, seventh one, Killer Croc. Uh, for the eighth one, Catwoman. Now, the thing with Catwoman, you can either have her kind of thrown as a hero or a DC or a villain or a side. Because she kind of bounces between helping, stealing, sometimes not on the, on, on the side you think she is. She's kind of, she's kind of, she's, she has a different story each time. So I, I, th I just threw her in there as an as a example. Um, another villain I think on here, and, I, and he's kind of, he's starting to become one of my favorite villains right now. Um, I'm gonna go with King Shark. Um, I figured he's starting to become a little bit more popular, and he's gonna be in the next, in the second Suicide Squad movie. So I figured to throw him in here. Um, for the tenth character, um, for the tenth character, um, I figured I'd throw Aquaman's villain in here. Which is Black Manta. Uh, for the Green Arrow, Green Lantern villain, um, Sinestro, which is the old Lantern. So I figured I'd throw him in there. Um, I figured I'd throw Shazam's villain, Black Adam. Well, or Superman's villain, however they have it now. Um, Black Adam, I figured it would be in there. Um, Reverse Flash, obviously. Uh, Cheetah. Uh, Superman's villain, Lex Luthor, obviously. Um, I threw in Captain Cold, uh, Heat Wave, Boomerang, Captain Boomerang, Dex, Deathstroke, uh, Deadshot, and then uh, Darkseid. So there's 21 villains I made for the DC side. And the reason why is because I know for the Marvel side, I can always throw in some Marvel villains for, the, for DLCs for the villains. So... I'm just gonna. I just did that. Do it like that. So now here is my uh, DLC dream list right here. Okay, for the for the Marvel DLC pack, this is what I have for the first five for the f five pack of. Here's what here's what I have for a DLC list. Um, Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four. I figured he'd be interesting to go up against that Plastic Man. Um, since they both have, like, stretching abilities, I figured they both could be kind of cool to go out one another. Um, Invisible Woman, obviously. Um, Human Torch. I like to see him in... I like to see him in Firestorm kind of go at it. They kind of look similar. They're kind of similar. I figure they're kind of similar. And it'd be kind of cool for them to watch them go at each other. Uh, the Thing. Obviously, The Thing would be kind of cool to have. You might as well have, like... Um, might as well have some of the stronger hero characters in here too, so I think Thing would be nice. Um, and then for the fifth character, uh, I threw in Silver Surfer for this list. Uh, I think Silver Surfer will be probably a great character to have in here. Also, a pretty, pretty powerful character to have. I figured he'd be one to throw in. Um, and for the sixth one on that, I put in uh, Neymar the Submariner. I figured him and Aquaman could go at it since they're both water characters. Uh, Neymar is pretty much Aquaman in Marvel's universe, and Aquaman is DC in his own universe. So I figured, even though they both are similar, 
similar. They both have different abilities, and they're both uh, they're both based off of Atlantic Atlantis. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to throw them both in there. Um, and then here's another DLC list I threw in, and this is um, kind of a creative one I did since both Miss Star Lord and, and Gamora are both already on the roster list. I threw in. Drax, Rocket, Groot, Nebula, and Mantis. I figured they, those five would be okay to throw in there. Now, the thing with Mantis, I'm pretty sure you can make her character unique. Because she had abilities that she showed off in some of the movies that you could probably use. And you could probably use stuff that's, like, effective and some stuff that's uh, different. So I figured that'd be kind of cool. Um, and this is for... Another DLC one that I threw in here. Um, Ghost Rider, Blade, Punisher, and Elektra. I figured both of those would be kind of cool for darker characters. And then you got Luke Cage and Jessica Jones I also threw in here. Since I have Daredevil and those and Iron Fist on uh, Daredevil and Iron Fist on there too. Um, might as well add those two characters as well. Um, um, now for my next one, this is for the DC, uh, this is for the D, this, and for my next, from the next one after this, I'm going to read off, but I got another one I got to read off. Uh, I'm going to go into my D, my DC, uh, villains, uh, DLC list, but I have another DLC Marvel list I want to do too. This one is going to be the X-Men DLC list. And I figured the X-Men characters could go like this. Since I, since you already kind of have a few of the X-Men characters right now. You have Wolverine, Quicksilver, and Domino. And I guess you can use Deadpool. Um, I figured since those four are already on there as like separate from the X-Men. This is kind of what I would do for my X-Men list. So... Uh, Cyclops, Iceman, Rogue, um, Jubilee, Ju Ju Jubilee, I think I pronounced that, uh, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Iceman, uh, Gambit, and um, Kitty Pride. I think would be another one to use. That's those are my nine X Men characters I would use. As for the X Men wise, since you already have a majority of them right now, so I figured that'd be kind of cool to have. And then from the next ten character on that list is going to be Storm. So there's ten of your X Men characters I would select from. So that is my ten X Men characters list. Um, now I'm sure there's a couple other X Men I would like that, that I think would be kind of unique good to have. I was thinking characters like Warpath or um, maybe Bishop or um, yeah, Bishop. I think would be kind of cool or um, um, the one the one char the one hero character from Deadpool two, the one that like time travels and stuff. I can't remember his name. That character would be kind of cool to have too. If, post a comment on the section on the post a comment on the section below to, and let me know what that character's name is because I literally 